everybody Helen here with a quick video just to explain to you how you can log um, a record onto your child's earwig account um, it would be great for us to see what all the people's been up to while they've not been at school um, and a great way of doing this is to add a record to your child's earwig timeline so I'm going to take you through how to do this now when you log into earwig you should get something which looks a little bit like this and then to add a record, you simply go to the red button here, which says create observation. And you click on this. And then you should get a screen which looks a little something like this. If you've got a photograph or a video to add to your child's earwig record, um, that would be great, great to do that. Um, you don't have to have a photo or video. It's absolutely fine to do a record without. However, if you've got one, it's a really nice touch to add a bit more detail about what they've been doing. To add that, you simply go to click on here, the orange button, upload image or photo, and you can select your picture from wherever you've got it stored on your computer. So I'm just going to click on this one and press open. It'll take a few seconds to come into the record. Um, if you've got multiple photos or videos, you can toggle multiple and they can all ping in or you can click upload again. Um, videos take a little bit longer to upload, but not too long. Um, you then need to give your record a title. So this image here is of a child exploring some paint and some bubble wrap. So I might decide I'd like to call this record um, Exploring Textures. Now it wouldn't normally come up there, but that's because I've tried done a trial record before and it's come up um, already. Once you've given a record a title once, it will suggest it again. And then you can add a little bit of detail about what um, your child has been doing with that activity or how they've engaged with it. So I might write that Annie enjoyed exploring paint under bubble wrap. I might say a little bit of something about how she engaged with that. So I might say she really enjoyed this and laughed every time a bubble popped. Then might say she squished the paint until all the colours blended. And then I might finish by saying something about her, how she engaged with this. So I might say she um, she explored this independently for five minutes. Um, you can write whatever you like, um, but just a little bit of something to explain how your child's got on with that activity. When you've done that, you then um, click on the green button here, send. This then should appear in your child's timeline. Um, it may not appear straight away um, because the record would then go um, onto the teacher's timeline. Once the teachers have read that and approved that, that should be then in your child's timeline. Um, but when it is, if you click on your child's timeline, it should look a little something like this and that record will then appear. Um, you can see I've tried it a couple of times, hence all the records, but it should then appear at the top of there. Um, so good luck, enjoy, have a go at it and share some fantastic things that your children have been doing at home with us. Thank you.